In this video, I'll show you how to create an implementation project in Oracle Fusion Apps. The key tasks that we'll go through include the following. We'll start off by logging into Fusion Applications, and then we go into the Setup and Maintenance page, where we'll be able to browse all the different offerings, and the offerings are mainly the modules that we can implement. After we've browsed the offerings, we review them, and then we configure the offerings. We'll be able to select the areas of the application that we can implement and then we'll generate our implementation task from there we'll then create the um, implementation project from the manage implementations projects page so let's get started so first let's log into Oracle Fusion applications once you install the product the first user ID that you'll be given by default is FA admin so I'm going to log in as my user who is FA admin and I'll use the password that I created during the installation and uh, let's sign in so it's loading the page and then here we are to the main page so um, from the main page you can select from the navigator you can select setup and maintenance or you can go in from the administration link at the top of the page and select setup and maintenance it will bring you to the same page right now we have the setup and maintenance page and from this page you can see the key offerings that you have you can just review some of the offerings I'll be looking at mainly the financials so enable us to configure how to manage financial flows including assets cash management, uh, invoice, APAR, a lot of the configuration of the financial modules are done within financials. And you can from here configure the offerings. So I'm going to select configure offerings. This will bring you to a page that will allow you to select the areas that you can implement. From my installation there's certain areas that are provisioned for example coexistence for HCM is provisioned so so I can select the areas that I want to implement so I'm going to select financials I'm going to select my fusion accounting hub I'm going to select procurement I might as well select project project financial management uh, it's quite a few other ones and it also expands depending on additional subheadings so on the financials I can select ex payables expenses fixed assets receivables so I'm, I'm just selecting everything for now interest that reporting and expanding to see if there's anything else so in the configure offerings page you select based upon what you've provisioned so I've selected wherever I've got provisioned yes I've selected all the different levels so this is selecting everything under the areas that I have provisioned and once I'm happy with my selection I click click on save to save my my current selection So once I've saved, um, I can close it. Or I could have selected save and close. Next, I'm going to create my implementation project. So I'm going to click on manage implementation projects. And then I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to click on the create icon. And I'm going to create it's created one called implementation project by default and it's given me the a code so I'm just going to change this to demo implementation project I'm going to call the code demo implementation project and I've given it um, it's assigned to FA admin and the start date of today so next, 
that's my basic project information and based upon the areas that I've selected then I can then decide whether I want to implement certain areas for this project. So for my project, I only want to implement the financials. So I've selected my financials. And on the financials, I want to be able to select some of the other offerings as well. Payables, expenses, fixed assets, all the receivables, collections, some into company, and some financial and analytics. Again, I want to expand a bit further and then go on and do payables, general ledger, employee reporting. I'll leave financial accounting hub for now. I'll go into procurement and then I will, on the procurement, I'll have payables, procurement contracts, self service procurement, sourcing supplier portal. And I'll go into my procurement and spend analytics. Get some of the procurement and sourcing business intelligence analytics in my demo project. So once I've selected all the areas that I want to include in my project, then I'll then click on save and open the project. So these are my auto generated tasks. So let's just expand just to see some of the tasks that has been created for us so you can see all the tasks there the tasks are also further broken down into further subtask so you've got the subtask also showing we've got the subtask showing um, under the under the main task You can also from here assign task if you have more than one user, but I'm going to assign everything to myself because I'll be because um, I'll, I'll be creating the demo implementation project. So, for example, for my finance, I will start off by defining the common applications config. And under that it's quite a few tasks under this. Define synchronization of users and roles, define implementation users, and then one can go into each of the different tasks and then complete them as required. So you can select the scope, you can look at the predecessor task, and this can actually be used to build your project plan. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe. I'll be uploading some more videos on Fusion applications. Thank you.